Hey everyone, I uh, hope everyone out there is doing well. Uh, it's a little crazy out there right now, especially here in America. Uh, today we're unboxing the IR, the XS IR ther thermometer. Um, IR stands for infrared. Um, it's basically for uh, your temperature. We ordered these for our own use uh, because, you know, uh, we want everyone uh, to be safe and healthy uh, while they travel in and out uh, to work and wherever else they may go. Um, but, you know, uh, using a traditional thermometer uh, that you stick in your mouth under your tongue uh, is a little cumbersome and uh, requires a lot of sanitizing and or replacing of thermometers, uh, you know, because we don't want to pass around germs. We don't want to pass around anything of that nature. So we purchased these. Uh, we actually found these on Amazon. Uh, again, we're not paid for our videos. Uh, we just like unboxing everything we purchase. We're going to be using these in the office. So without further ado, let's take a look at them. You can read the features here. Uh, you can see this is made in China. Most things are made in China nowadays, so that shouldn't really matter. Uh, has screen reading, fast scans, security, avoid cross infection, accuracy, test distance one to five centimeters. Okay, uh, now, as you may well know, uh, many of these instruments are that you find online anyway, are not really made for the American market uh, because of the system that they use for math uh, and measuring, etc. Uh, by default, this unit is actually set to read Celsius temperatures. As you know, we here in America, we use Fahrenheit. Uh, but that's actually pretty simple to remedy for this unit because you can actually set it up to read in Fahrenheit. Now, we already placed the batteries in here. Literally, you just scan. Now see? I already set this up so it reads in Fahrenheit. Show that to you again. But, by default, when you first purchase this, see that? It's actually set to Celsius. We change it to Fahrenheit. So basically what you do to set it is, you turn them on by pressing this trigger right here. It turns on, then you hold this set button and it'll cycle through these different save settings that you can use so you can actually choose to use one setting for Celsius and one for Fahrenheit if you wish to. Now, once you see that, you can press this button, the center one with the plus symbol. Oh, let's turn it on again. Set it. See, once you press it, it changes between Celsius and Fahrenheit and then you just hit the trigger again and you're all set now the reason why this is set low showing low because I've just been pressing it and shooting it against the desk the boxes and whatnot of course they won't actually have the optimal temperature uh, most people will shoot these on the forehead I'm sure you've watched it on the news seen images shared on social media uh, people are aiming these at people's foreheads uh, to get their temperature. Now that's fine. It works perfectly fine that way, but you actually don't have to. You can actually aim it on your wrist, like so. See that? 96.8. Let's try my right wrist. 96.8.
it's pretty accurate uh, all of these whether you get an expensive one or an inexpensive one they're off by a few point degrees usually plus or minus 0.5 and the reason being is everyone's ambient temperature is slightly different the idea here is to get the most accurate temperature possible now the most even thermometers traditional ones that are placed inside your mouth for example is not 100 percent accurate because everybody is on or off by a degree or two but basically uh it's accurate enough that you get a reading and it will show you your uh, body temperature now if you fall actual degrees above or below now not a fraction of degree like 0.5 or 0.3 but you actually fall like if you read this if the scan and it said you were 95 or 93 or 101 then there actually is something wrong and you should seek a doctor immediately and that's basically it we're going to be using these in our office we just want to make sure everybody we are with are safe and you know it could be if we ever find anyone with a lower temperature or higher temperature that they just simply have a cold or they have an off day uh, and but they should still definitely seek uh, a doctor we just do not want anybody during this time to actually have any issues because we know everyone will have to see you know everyone has the chance to get in contact with loved ones friends family and it would just not be cool uh, for anybody to fall ill at any time let alone during this time so thank you for watching uh if you enjoy our unboxings please subscribe to our channel um if you uh, please give this video a like and please leave a comment and tell us what you think about an instrument like this. Thanks again. Take care, everybody. Hope everyone out there is safe.